Right, this is my little Chinese lacquer and gold Dupont line one. A few little nicks and stuff on there. Well, that's what happens with uh, use and age. Let's have a look and see if we can get them a bit close here. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. A bit rough around the edges, but still got its. Uh, that's the unique hand stamped serial there. On the bottom, you can just about see it. You notice that the letters and the numbers don't line up properly. That's how it should be. If you've got one or if you see one, or you think you're buying one, or all the lighter, all the numbers are regular, then avoid it because it'll be a fake. Right. I'm sorry this isn't too clear, but you can get a reasonable, reasonable idea of what I'm talking about. I hope. Anyway. This is a little sweetheart of a lighter. It's an absolute peach. I haven't cleaned these up. I'm going to show you a few more in a moment. I haven't cleaned them up for their photo call. And they're as is. I use them all daily, depending on uh, which one I feel like striking up at any given time. Because they're all beautiful little tools. And they all work beautifully. That little notch there, you click that down, slide that out, and then we'll pop the flint in. That little roller there is to adjust the uh, height of the flame, which I'm not going to do, because I've got it set just as I like it. That's that little fellow. Right, that little porthole. I'm doing all this left-handed, which feels a bit strange. Um, I write with my left hand, but I don't think I can pick that up with my nail. I should have had this camera on a tripod, really, shouldn't I? But never mind. Now that's on a little hinge. This little screw. That f that little half of that flips up, and then you unscrew it. You put your refill in, you fill it up, and you close it up again. That's all you do. All right. That's a little line one, black Chinese lacquer and gold. Now we have its big brother. Now this is the big one, the big uh, golden Chinese uh, Chinese black lacquer, black Chinese lacquer. This is a beauty. Now this isn't. Let me get the focus a bit better on this. It's not looking very good. This is a lovely lighter. I wanted one of these for quite a while and finally managed to avail myself of one. Right, let me see if I can get the number out there. Right, again, check the number out in the bottom. That is all hand stamped. The characters, as you can possibly see, are not regular. The first and the second are close together. The one next one's space far apart and so on. It's been put on by somebody some clever fellow with a little tool and his own bare hands. Except no imitations. You can pick these up for quite reasonable money second hand on eBay. Do a bit of research first though. Right, and that's a little Chinese lacquer like symbol, that little that little thing there. And there. That's it, right, the uh, this portal here on the left, that's for adjusting the height of the flame. This is where you fill it from. Now this one, it's not going to ping as loudly as the, uh, the one I'll show you in a minute. It pings, but not very loudly. And the reason for that, that is that the lacquer deadens the sound somewhat as it uh, travels through the body of the lighter. The gold one I'll show you in a moment, you'll see the difference because that's all metal, so the sound just is like a bell. But this lacquer, beautiful as it is, will deaden the sound off that ping to a certain extent. 
if you buy it for a ping, well, you might as well buy a bell, it'd be cheaper, wouldn't it? There we go. Gorgeous lighter, gorgeous. That's the line two, black Chinese lacquer and gold. Right, now I'll show you the gold one straight now. Here we are, this is the fellow. Again, a lovely one, lovely plain sort of, I don't know what they call that, it's a kind of very, very, it's not, it's not, um, what do you call it, dog tooth, I can't remember what they call it, hobnail, I don't know. It's a, a, quite a classic pattern. Again, the numbers are um, invisible. <laughs> they don't line up immaculately. You always, you've got to check these things out before you buy them on second hand because there are a lot of fakes out there. Now listen to the difference. There we go, that rings. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. wait. There you go. Beautiful lighter. Gorgeous lighter. Love it. They're all beautiful lighters, these Dupont's. Ah, oh, he has suddenly found the zoom, the macro zoom. He's a bit beat up, look at those marks there, but it's, uh, believe me, it looks worse on, um, on video than it does in the flesh, because these things, I'll tell you what, they can, they can be beat up, they can be dirty, but they still have that, that unique class and charm. And Dupont are the, Arguably the finest lighters you can get your hands on. Dunhills are very, very nice. I mean, it's, there are only two makes in the world, really. That's Dunhill and Dupont. The rest come in third. Right. One final ping. Cling. And that's the, the line two. Gold. This is 20 micron gold. It's not solid gold. If we're talking solid gold, then it would be, I don't know what they are, probably about nine grand, possibly more, I don't know. But anyway, you can pick these up reasonably, re not, I wouldn't say cheaply, but uh, you can get a decent one for, say, a hundred quid on, on um, flea bay, but be careful what you're, what you're going for as usual. You know, you've got to be careful, do a bit of research. Make sure you know what to look out for in the most obvious fakes because there are tons of fakes around from um, the east. Okay, that's the line one. The line two, sorry. The line two, large gold. I'm going to whip through these quickly because this is dragging on a bit. Now this is um, one I'm quite fond of. It's a Subrini. This is, um, this is a lovely lighter. I've had a few of these um, various patterns. I had a lovely red lacquer one with um, some gold inlay that I sold on. But this is a lovely one. I think this one doesn't ping. It's based on the um, Little Wine one, but uh, you've got the, the lovely the lovely curve. This is silver and um, gold. Again, as you can see how similar it is to the uh, Little Lime one, because there's the adjustment roller there for the flame. The um, fill out the uh, flint again. You click that little thing down there, slide that forward. Just like, it's just based on the, the small line one. But it's a gorgeous lighter, lovely little lighter, very very unique. Let's see if I can. I'm sorry about this video quality. It's the first time I really used this camera in um, any kind of earnest to try and uh, do anything like this. I'll see if I can. I have to do a bit of practice. And the the um, that's the refill button on the bottom. You flip that up, unscrew it, and uh, in go was the refill. Very nice light as the. Very nice. That's a Subrini. Okay, I stopped making those in 1994, as far as I know. Right, I'm going to throw a little Dunhill into the mix here. Let me change hands because this might be easier. Oh, no, hang on, I can do it left-handed. That's a little Dunhill roller gas. Sweet as you like, this is a lovely reliable lighter. I've been using this for a while. Regular as clockwork. 
fill a screw in the bottom here, undo that, you unscrew it, click your um your refill in, a few seconds away you go. Don't worry about the little screw thing there, that's for um when it gets service and stuff. Right, open this up, this is regular as clockwork. The adjustment is via the flame adjustment is via this little wheel on the uh, side here. Take it down, take it up. I don't want that too high. That's about right for me. Gorgeous. A bit knocked about. Well, not knocked about. It's a bit. Um, it's not a new one, but it doesn't matter again with these. They just keep their class, keep their value, keep their. They keep their charm. It doesn't matter how old these are. They're wonderful lighters. They're made very, very well. They're great engineering. And everyone, everyone, everyone who's a smoker knows what a Dunhill looks like. They're in a class of their own. These and the Duponts, there's nothing to touch them. That's it. Lovely roller gas. You can pick these up again. Reasonable money on eBay. Be careful. Um, these aren't as faked as, as aren't faked as often as the Duponts, but you still gotta make sure you don't get a dud. You can pick a damn good one up for a hundred quid. Okay, that's the roller gas. Now the final two little Duponts I could have show you here. I'm not gonna zoom here. I'm gonna use my left hand. This is the um, this is the line D. Now this little fellow, I think she's almost out of gas. Yes, yeah, she is. That's just a smidgen of a flame there. Tiniest bit of a flame. And the thing is I have to unscrew the, th the, the little thing on the bottom to, to adjust. I'm not going to bother. But this is uh, pink Chinese lacquer. Quite unusual. It's got, two, it's got four stones set into the roller. I'm actually selling this at the moment. It's a lovely little lighter. And these are incredibly dear new. But, uh, that's palladium and uh, Chinese lacquer. In very nice condition this one. I just give it a little bit of a brush up before I sell it. A bit of a clean. That's the line D. These can, can be very very dear. Now this would have been in the region of 700 quid new, probably more. Right, um, finally, we have this little fellow. This is the, uh, <laughs> this is the Dupont, I think this is an Extend, I think, and one second I'll change hands again. This is the Extend, I think they call it. It's a torch lighter. And that's not in torch as in shows you the way, but it sure shows you the way how to light your cigarette. That is a torch. And you don't want to get your finger in front of this, believe me. It's not like wafting your finger over the top of a regular cigarette lighter flame. Oh no. That's quite another thing. It's so superb. I, like, I use this a lot. I take this out every day with me. Because if it's windy, you're sorted. You can light this in the wind any time. It's, it's, it's an excellent light. See, that? this is use marks. I've, I've used the, not the enamel off here one way or another. That's where it fills, that screw there. And you, that um, little valve in the middle. And you adjust the screw on the outside to adjust the flame height, if you want to, if you dare. Um, that's it, that's two Dupont stamped down on the, uh, on the, uh, stri the press striker there. This is, these are very good lighters, very good, very well made. You just um, click this, I'll see if I can ignite it with that. I'll blow the flame out. Right, that's the little aperture it comes out of. Excellent lighter. That's the extend. They're about, about 85 quid onwards new. But they're rock solid and they're a great all purpose, all weather lighter. Lovely lighters. Yes, this is, my this is my daily user when I'm out. As if you're knocking about outside and you want to light a cigarette. You don't want to be messing about um, with the wind blowing and everything. Anyway, that's five, my remaining five Duponts. 
and my Dunhill. Thanks for watching.